angel is coming to bring your deliverance. An angel is coming to bring your liberty. An angel is coming to set you free in the mighty name of Jesus. The angel that God has assigned over your life, they will do those great things in your life. What a mighty God we say. What a mighty God we say. Heaven and earth adore Him. Angels bow before Him. What a mighty God we say. What a mighty God we said. What a mighty God we said. Heaven and earth adore Him. Angels bow before Him. What a mighty God we said. Father, we thank you. We bless your name. We thank you because you are a mighty God. We serve a mighty God. The God that cannot change. The God that remains the same forever. Heaven and earth will bow before you. Angels, they will adore you. Thank you, O God. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The Lord bless you. I am Pastor Godwin Ebolo. This is Apostolic Hour on Grace TV. I know God Almighty has something to do in your life again. In the name of Jesus. This hour, I'll be talking on the ministry of angels. The ministry of angels. God has assigned angels to watch over his children. God has assigned angels to watch over his people. You have an angel. That is watching over you. I have an angel that is watching over me. The man you see serving God has an angel that is watching over him. The children that are serving God, they also have an angel that is watching over them. The women also, they have an angel that is watching over them. God has given the ministry into the hand of his angel to watch over us and because his angels are watching over us no evil shall befall us let me tell you something child of god there are many powers of the enemy that have been fighting against us there are many arrows of the enemy that have been shot at us but because the angels of god are watching over us none of these evil powers of the enemy has ever manifested in our life why is it so? Because he has given his angels charge over us and they are watching over us. That is the ministry of angels. I want to tell you today that the angels of God will watch over you, they will keep you, they will protect you, and they will lead you in all your ways in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will surely bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Uh, let me read something in the scripture concerning the servant of God called Daniel. Daniel was a servant of God, serving God all his life. Everything he does is for God. Everywhere he goes is for God. Everything concerning Daniel is for God. And that same reason, God has assigned angels over the life of Daniel and no plans of the enemy came to pass in his life. The book of Daniel chapter 6 and verse 21 which says then said daniel unto the king o king live forever my god has sent his angel and has shut the lion's mouth that they have not hurt me for as much as before him innocence he was found in me and also before the o king have i done no hurt daniel said god have sent his angels and his angels have come and shut the mouth of the lion. What happened that Daniel said this word? The king made a decree that no other person 
should have time to worship God. No other person should follow the ways of God. And no other person should pray to any other God except the God that he has made. But Daniel knew the God that he served. Daniel knew that God has given him angels to guide him. Daniel prayed to God Almighty. And as Daniel was praying, the people saw him through the window. And they went and reported him to the king. And they said to the king, Daniel has disobeyed your word. And Daniel is worshipping another God apart from the God that you have asked us to worship. And that same reason, the king arrested Daniel and put him in the lion's den. But when Daniel was in the lion's den, the Bible said, God sent his angels. And the angels of God went right there in the den. And they shut the mouth of the lion. And no lion was able to eat Daniel up. Hallelujah. God sent his angels. They shut the mouth of the lion. Look at that. The lion that had been there, hungry. The lion that are looking for food to eat. The lion that had been waiting where their meal will come from. They saw Daniel in their den. And instead of them eating up Daniel, they could not. Why? Because God has sent his angel and his angel shut the mouth of the lion. That is what God can do for his children. And that is what I call the ministry of the angels. There are many accidents that would have happened in your life. But God sent his angel and they take you off the way. There are many things that would have happened that is evil against you. But God sent his angel and they take you off the path. Now, I want to tell you from today, begin to understand the ministry of God's angel over your life. It is not by your power that you are alive today. It is by the ministry of God's angel kept in charge over you. And they are watching you every day. They are watching you every second. They are watching you every time. They are watching you every year. Anywhere you go, they are there. Anything you are doing, they are there. They will never allow any evil to befall you. The angels on assignment, they are working. They are working. They are working for you. They are your messenger. They are your servants. They are loyal to you. God has sent them to you. They are everywhere you go. Whether you are in your house, they are there with you. You are in your office, they are there with you. You are walking on the road, they are there with you. You are in your car, you are driving, they are there with you. Anywhere you find yourself, these angels of God, they are there with you. That is their ministry. That is the assignment that God has given to them. And they will shut the mouth of any form of evil that wants to happen to you. I want you, don't take these angels for granted. Don't sin against them. Because when you sin against them, they will depart. When you sin against them, their ministry will not be fulfilled. When you sin against them, they will not carry out their work effectively. Honor God and watch out. What God will do, and when God begins to work in your life, know that these angels, they are there to back you up. The ministry of angels will be fulfilled in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Paul and Silas, they were kept in prison. And at the time came, they began to praise God. And when they began to praise God, God sent an angel. The angel went there and opened the prison door. That is the ministry of the angel. Open the prison door and they came out free. God is about to do something in your life. An angel is coming to bring your deliverance. An angel is coming to bring your liberty. An angel is coming to set you free in the mighty name of Jesus. The angel that God has assigned over your life, they will do those great things in your life. You will get your deliverance, you will get your healing, and you will get your freedom in the mighty name of Jesus. Every step you take, you will see the angels working for you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The Lord bless you and the Lord increase you and the Lord establish you. I pray for you that from now, the ministry of God's angel over your life will begin to manifest in the name of Jesus. These angels will work for you and to God will be the glory and to God will be the praise in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.